It's the peak of tropical season and we are seeing quite a bit of activity out there. I'm meteorologist Liz Horton in CBS4 Weather Control with the latest you need to know. Three storms named. We have Jose that's just off the coast of Bermuda. We have Tropical Storm Maria that's currently moving towards the Lesser Antilles. And we have Tropical Storm Lee that's just southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. And we're going to take you through each storm. We're going to start first uh, with Jose. Jose is a Category 1 hurricane with winds of 80 miles per hour, moving north now at 8 miles per hour. We like to see that it's moving north away from us. It is still going to bring us some rough surf and a high risk of strong and da uh, dangerous rip currents today until 8 o'clock tonight, something to take note of if you're heading to the beach. But the track will take it up to the north and then curve it back out sharp, almost at a 90 degree turn off the coast of New England. Uh, and unfortunately there, folks could certainly see a significant wind impact and likely some rain as well from the storm. Not good for all the, the fishermen out there and all of the, the economy that depends on that. We're we're also watching Tropical Storm Maria. In fact, this is the one we're watching the most, expected to strengthen to a hurricane later today. Category 1 storm strengthening to a Category 2 storm currently as it uh, heads towards the Leeward Islands. Unfortunately, those folks have already seen quite a bit of damage from Irma, and now it looks like they will likely have another very strong storm upon them Monday night into Tuesday. Not much time there as it heads Wednesday and Thursday heading towards Puerto Rico strengthening more the National Hurricane Center has the intensity at a category 3 storm as it heads towards the Dominican Republic Thursday night into Friday morning very unfortunate for our friends there who are still trying to recover and still have damage significant wind impact heavy rain storm surge another very strong storm computer models continue to show most of them curving out to sea possibly impacting some of the southeastern Bahamas before moving off towards the north. A few outliers show it there in South Florida, but I really don't expect that to happen right now. The two computer models we use the most are the GFS and the European model, and you can see as I run through the time, most of them keep it offshore away from South Florida. Now the European model does have it uh, making landfall somewhere between South Carolina and North Carolina as we head into the middle part of next week. Um, but we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. <laughs> so uh, hopefully for us in South Florida, it would be okay. As we take you through Tropical Storm Lee, not so worried about it. It's a weak tropical storm, 40 mile per hour winds, and you can see it's expected to dissipate in the next coming days, and not so much of a significant wind impact expected for really anywhere other than fish out in the sea. We're tracking the tropics here all the time. You can always get the latest update here at CBSMiami.com. Stay safe.